hello my friends welcome and welcome the back in uh, another tutorial in this video i am going to teach you this is a part 2 video of how to create pet portrait in adobe photoshop if you want to watch part 1 link will be pop up here or you can also check part 2 video link in description okay without wasting any more time let's get start the video before starting the video let's talk about business if you are looking for a freelancer who can create a royal pet portrait or pet portrait related work for you then you can contact me you will find my contact details in description you can contact me through instagram email or i will in uh, fiverr and upwork link also okay let's start the video now okay first of all you need two things first your pet image and second thing clothes where you can download cloth image you can just simply go to pinterest or any other way but i simply i regularly use pinterest for finding a good royal cloth images you can also use pinterest if you want up to you okay i don't own any copyright so i cannot share a link of image okay for pet image i use uh, unsplash.com here you will find uh, some copyright free images any kind of image you will find here i just simply search the website and type pet and you will find this image okay then just simply start photoshop and create new document document size you can take whatever you want i just simply selected a a4 size document and here's the screen now import our images so just let me import the images select the both images and drag and drop okay then enter enter okay now i already rename it you can rename if you want just double click on it and it will you will have option to rename it okay just hide first layer okay then resize the our cloth here cloth layer resize according to a requirement okay then click on close layer once then go to select and subject so photoshop will automatically select the subject from the background the easiest way to make a selection of any subject or person okay then go to mask okay then now we just want clothes we don't want a face so what we have to do just click on a mask then go to brush and then simply left right click and select top round brush you can choose how draw how hard round brush. okay it's up to you you can use any brush okay that's there is a no limitation then okay you can resize brush then simply paint make sure you selected a black and white okay select black color and just simply paint if you are watching my video you need to have a basic knowledge of how to use photoshop okay you need to have if you don't have photoshop basic LA, you can just go to youtube and find some good videos about photoshop tutorial okay that's not my problem <laughs> okay. just take your time and uh, just remove unwanted areas okay. Okay, that's 
look good now if you want you can just convert into smart object okay. now let's go to our first layer pet pet layer and do the same process click on layer go to select select subject photoshop will automatically select subject from the background again click on mask and again take a brush and you know what to do just remove unwanted area just like this okay look good now enable both the layer then convert this first layer into smart object then click on first layer and send it to back okay now resize that face image and adjust it and that's what all you have to do adjust image you can rotate you know that i think face should be big You can also adjust the cloth, select the cloth layer, control T to transform, and right click and select and select warp tool. Warp option is not a tool, it's just option. Then just stretch the image little bit. Okay, that's different work I think. Okay, forget it. Now just take a copy of pet layer in case of we need later just hide it and remove again unwanted areas this time i would like to use a soft brush hardness around 70 percent make it 85 Okay, this side is perfectly adjusted. Now we have to do something with this side. What we all we have to need to do is just erase it. Yeah, perfect. Okay, now we have to do some adjustment here, as you can see in the border here we are looking rough so what we have to do is click on float layer take a copy hide uh, original layer you know for what for a backup we don't generally need a backup but it's a good habit to have a backup <laughs> then take a smudge tool 
and uh, uh, then simply go to digital painting brush if you don't have this brush package i will put a download link for these brushes you can easily download this all brushes okay link will be given in the description or i will also put a link in comment okay you can check and just download it then after downloading all you have to do is import the brushes if you don't know how to import just search it on google google or youtube right now i'm not going to explain you how to import the brushes just simply select the smoothing smudge brush first one okay you can see the icon here okay now i think you are get it what i want to say and just convert it okay the smudge brush will not work on smart object you have to convert this layer into rasterized layer after converting the rasterized layer now you have the smudge brush and you can start smudging okay but it will make all the hard edges make it soft okay it will help the float layer to blend with the background right now we don't have any background but we will create or we can use a ready made uh, background i will show you how you can do the both thing just smudge it okay you can increase or decrease the strength of smudge i would like to use 20 percent Now it's look good. we are almost done i think we need to remove this area <laughs> i forgot to remove just take a mask and brush and uh, remove Now it look better. Again, take a smudge brush and start smudging. Okay. Now we we'll, we need to add a shadow so it will look more realistic so for adding shadow we have to add shadow between a uh, cloth layer and face layer okay so just click a face layer okay then create a one blank layer above it and name it a shadow and clip this layer to the face pad, pad face layer okay so what we have to do for clipping the layer just click the control 
hold the control and simply you will get this type of icon here and click on it it will clip on a fat layer i know you know the process of how to clip the layer but i'm just telling if you don't know okay then simply take a brush tool soft and round brush general brush soft and round and uh, opacity you can set it to 20 to 25 percent set flow to 20 smoothness i would like to use 10 percent yes you can leave a smoothness color will be black and start adding shadows see the difference see the light direction and according to the light apply the shadow okay here here okay. If you think you overdid the shadow, you can always decrease fill or opacity. I would like to seventy percent. Better. Now we done over 50 percent of the work we just have to add a background some grunge and old background so what we do just go to prepick.com prepick.com and find old paper just type old paper click on free license here you will get a lot of old paper which you can use as a background let's see I would like to use this one just download it okay, here is the dimension I would like to use medium dimension okay and go to the bottom Please insert I would like to rotate it 180 degree You can always do the color correction. Okay.
I would like to add a vignette effect on a background so just simply create a node new adjustment layer brightness and contrast I will clip it to the bottom layer with and simply I will decrease the brightness to 75% minus 75% and uh, increase contrast to 30% then click on mask take a brush color back black color and uh, start adding a highlight behind the Bermuda or let me see this make any difference then As you can see it starting to glow Play with the brush size. Okay. Or you can use a negative mask. Take your time and make a good lighting effect. I think this looks good. So let me just decrease the opacity. I would like to play with the colors, hue and saturation. Go to hue and saturation. Change the color and Okay, I would like to add some reddish tone. Let's see if we can do something. Yes. Yeah, that's good, good.
I think this looks amazing. Let's let's go and just make a group of the all layers. Select the all layers and convert into group. And uh, take a copy of the group. You know why we need to have a copy for background. Then just name a copy to whatever you want. I just want to name it final okay this is the final i put that is why convert into smart object again take a pop three i would like to play with color that is why take two copies let's go to the filter camera of filter and uh, go to pair 6 increase or decrease exposure i would like to increase into 0.25 increase contrast uh, 30 lights 45 okay Shadows. Keep it zero. White minus twenty. Black minus twenty. Okay, the texture will be around. Clarity 10 Dehaze 5 Saturation I would like to vibrant 15 and saturation will be 5 Okay Looks fantastic okay okay so that's it we successfully created our pet portrait in a photoshop if you like the video you know what to do like the video share if you can and leave a subscribe okay if you want to more tutorials such like this okay so thanks for watching